Okay, welcome back. This is part two of this uh, demo on paper bags, uh, black Conte with vine charcoal. And as you can see, it's changed some. I've put a lot more tone back here, mostly by dragging uh, vine as well as um, working some Conte. So all the while I've been kind of building up some tones this way. And mostly thinking about where the areas that I specifically need um, value, like a, a strong enough difference in value to help really make the light on the forms clear. I mean, thinking that there'll probably be a little bit of suggestion of light coming from up this way. And remember, those of you who had me for drawing one probably remember this, but those who, who didn't, remember how Conte and Vine uh, complement each other as tools, not just in terms of color. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit more when we're talking about the uh, the red Conte drawing. But also in terms of just the way the materials work on the page and sit on the page. Vine, because it's very soft and tends to, when you work it into the page, it come, smooths out pretty easily. It helps because Conte is almost the exact opposite. It goes on the page and it makes a very firm, definite mark, very crisp mark, but it's a hard mark to erase or to manipulate. So by working in kind of stages and layers between the two, it gives you a little bit of the benefits of both tools. You can expand your range much farther than you could get just using your, your fine charcoal. But you can also um, You can also have the, the tone be a little bit smoother, have it go on a little bit more even, be a little bit easier to manipulate, to erase back, or to smooth out if you need it. Uh, so you get the benefits of the vine as well as the benefits of the black Conte. Uh, you'll also notice, so as I've been working on this, I've been noticing more and more that there is a light up here at this part, um, even though this is overall shadow side. So I've been catching that. So there's a little bit of a transition. And I've also been noting that there's just a little bit of a reflective light on the edge of this shadow side. And that helps with the darker value behind here. Another thing you might notice is that I've been working just very slightly on the surface, the front surface of the bag. Uh, one thing I do wanna say is I still need to, I've already changed the front angles a good deal, but I feel like I still need to change it a little bit more. And actually, on both bags, I feel like they're both just a little bit off. Um, note that we don't really see a very clear, definite uh, cast shadow right there, but since there's one here, I'm going to put it in at the moment. Um, you might want to pan to the actual bags for a second so they can see that. But there is just a light suggestion of a shadow here, so this will probably diminish in this section. Um, but the other thing you might notice as you were looking at the setup is that one of the things I've added to the setup is I've added some tape marks. That way, if because we're in our house, if we need to uh, take this setup down, if it's in the way, I can put it back together pretty easily. I also took a photograph of it from a couple of different angles to make sure that I could set it up back uh, pretty easily. And I'm still working on taping the, the bottom of that uh, TV tray so that it is easy to move. So before I started talking about changing the bottoms of this, the other thing I was saying was that I've been working on the front part of these planes, which are getting most of the light. And overall, because they're getting most light, they're going to need to stay kind of just light, the light of the, the value of the, um, of the newsprint. But one of the things I've been doing as I've been developing this is working with graphite and very lightly with my eraser. And one of the things you have to do is you have to pay attention to the fact that graphite has its own color. Um, earlier we talked about how vine 
has kind of a slightly different color from gray or, or black. It's, it's more gray than black Conte is, but it's also slightly got a color, like a slight purplish tint. And this varies from brand to brand, as I mentioned before. Um, and the same is true with graphite, that it also it varies um, from different tools, different types of tools and different brands. But overall, graphite is kind of grayer than um, either Vine or Conte, and it's also uh, warmer, and it's got a slight greenish cast to it. You generally don't notice it until you're pairing it with other tools that are also um, basically black and white. So one of the advantages of using the graphite is that it's such a light value compared to the other values, it allows me to make really soft changes of value on the surface and suggest the change of light across the surface, and that helps to really create the presence of the bag. Um, remember that same rule we were talking about before, which is when you see a dark, you almost always see a corresponding light and vice versa. So um, wherever I see little kind of shadow shapes, like if I see um, over here, there's a little tiny wrinkle and I decide that it's important enough to kind of place it. I probably right away want to come in with an eraser and also put the light that's there too. Um, that way you can see that there is both a light plane and a dark plane because anytime you see a change of value, it really is a change of planes. So you need to be thinking about that. Uh, related to the color of graphite, just one little side note, one of the things I've done is I've actually put a little bit of graphite in a lot of places, like I've actually periodically worked into like the negative spaces back here with graphite, just so that there's a little bit of unity of color. Because if I only reserve the graphite just for these few areas on the bag, it could have the uh, difficulty of kind of creating um, a, an effect where it stands out too much, breaks the unity of the whole piece. So That's seven minutes. That's seven minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, I think probably the um, next time you see this, I probably won't do another video. Um, I'll just finish it and then I'll show you a picture of the finished version. Um, unless people really wanna see a video of the, the final stages. And I think that's about it. All right, thank you very much.